what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back on the Ark, on the island, playing some games. So, if you guys do enjoy the videos, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, and of course, feel free to subscribe and share, and hit that little notification bell next to the subscribe button if you have not done so already. So today, what I think I want to do, I think it's gonna might be moving day. It might already be moving day. Never even finished the base all the way out of stone. Uh, by the way, the trike first died. Oh no, first. Uh, but we do have all these <laughs> group of useless Tranodons, which is just great. Uh, the adolescent one grew up, and now here he is right here. Let's go ahead and put all his points into stamina so we can actually fly around. Because um, we can't boost anything into speed. So I think I already know where I want to move. I was going to move over to that waterfall like I mentioned in the last video. But I think instead, we're actually going to go over here. And I'm going to show you guys where it is. Um, I was originally going to try to go a little more inland, I think, but I'm actually going to decided to stay a little more towards the coast. Right on the coast, in fact. Because uh, it just seems safer. <laughs> and, uh, safe is good, as this seems like a very, very dangerous mod. So, there's going to be quite a bit of fly. Um, but I also want to build today uh, a way to get some metal. We do have the, uh, gravestone mod? What is it called? I don't know. Uh, personal grave or something? And I want to go ahead and build that. Look at that Masa right there. That thing's cool looking. Uh, well, dangerous raptor. Dangerous raptor! Um, and I'll kind of show you how I'm going to get metal using that. Hopefully get some moving done. We'll build some pieces up first, and then we'll go place them over here. Uh, did, I, oh, did I not bring a pick or anything? I didn't. Oh, I should have done that first. Okay. But uh, up here, there's like a little cliff. Right around, what is it, like 50? Oh, it's too far. I'm not flying all the way up there right now. Screw that! I'll do it after I get some stuff to bring. It's at like 50-15 or something like that. And I'll show you guys where that is in just a minute when I get up there. But right now I'm going to go home. I'm going to get a pick, get some armor. I'm going to make like a bed and stuff to show you guys exactly what I plan on doing. And uh, then... Whoa! Whoa! Did that just freaking spawn right there? What the heck? Did you just see that? That was not just there. That's like the whale thing, but it's like even bigger than your normal whale thing. Think it'll give us fish meat? Like prime fish meat like the other one does? Should we go touch it? Let's go touch it. All right, hold on. First of all, where's that raptor? I don't want him near me. Hey, someone's little hut. Oh, hey, giant, giant whale guy. No, 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 no. You sit here. Let's go see. Do you think he's friendly? Hello. Hello. We're inside of him. Because the other ones, the, oh, he's, oh, he's dying. Oh, no. Don't die. Oh. Oh. Well, does he have inventory? Oh, oh, he's, oh, that's so sad. I guess we're going to have to take all his meat. What in the world was that? He just, like, spawned there and died. All right, can I get back to my Terra or what's going on here? All right, I guess I'm going to harvest this guy with a Terra. Because, why not? Is he even harvestable? Oh yeah, we is. On the left, he's getting harvestable. Alright, well, good thing. We'll get all this hide and stuff. We're gonna need it. <laughs> I guess a perfect opportunity? How weird. Alright, well, I'm gonna harvest this guy. I'm gonna go build stuff back at the base. I'm gonna get everything ready. Look at all that hide. And then I will bring you guys back in just a few minutes. Alright, guys. After harvesting that sucker, I noticed he dropped a bag. And check it out. Look at all this stuff. Let's just take all. Oh my gosh. Alright. First things first, let's get up here. I wonder, did we, we should have punched it to like get the experience from that kill. I wonder if that would actually worked. All right, I'm gonna, let's get back, let's, okay, let's fly up here. We have some stamina, let's look see what we got. We got go, 27 gold a kibble used to get Kigaroth. So I guess I can't just tame anything. An Alpha Calicatherium saddle, an Alpha Wyvern saddle, 43 arrows, anti po arrows, this will wake you up. Like, okay. Darts. Some stone, I already had that stone. Some Poe arrows, which this will knock out even you. 21 toxic blood. Does that expire? It does, one hour. Uh, metal sickle, nice. Flak leggings, flak gauntlets, experience potions. This is awesome, all right. Uh, did I pass my base? No, we're good, we're still going the right way. All right, now I'm gonna get back to base and I will actually get some stuff ready and then I'll bring you back. All right, guys, so I built some stuff up just a little bit, and I loaded up the Terras, tore down most of the other base, and uh, got almost everything on these Terras. So now we can go ahead and start building here. This is the new spot on this little peninsula. Check it out. We got one of those rainbow snails over here. That's good. It's always a good omen, the rainbow snail. 
So this spot's nothing special except for I only have to build one wall to protect it, which is really nice. Um, obviously, it might need a little more if it was PvP, but it's not. So let's see, did I put the behemoth walls and stuff on this guy? Yes. So let's put this here. Let's put this here. Let's go ahead and start building. Uh, maybe I'll land over here. And I think I'll need like a pick to take out these... Uh, to take out these rocks and stuff. And I'm just going to put a wall up, and that way we get a little bit of a safe haven. Uh, make sure these guys aren't passive so we don't lose everything. Uh, and let's take a look. I'm thinking... Uh, can we get on this rock? Uh, okay, let's look. So this is kind of where the drop-off is. So I think we'll start it right here, and we will go... So first, let's take out these rocks. And hopefully nothing comes up and kills us while we wait, because that would be sad. All right. Clearing out the rocks. Now we just gotta get the angle right. Come on. There we go. Okay. So we put it right here. I don't think anything should be able to climb up there. Maybe like right here. And should we go straight this way towards the obelisk? Let's clear a path. Oh, I hope four gates is enough. It should be. I mean, four gates is pretty big. Um, what are they? Seven wide? So that's 28 foundations or like seven and a half wide. So maybe that's 30 foundations wide. That's pretty big. Oh man, all these rocks. I need, a, I need to get me a doed. Maybe a Enki. Maybe lots of dinos, since all I have is four freaking Pteranodons now. All right, is this the last one? Come on, take it out. All right, and if we go, yeah, to like right here. Yeah, that's fine. That's, oh, come on, all you stupid rocks, get out of here. I should probably be harvesting these for stone, so I'm gonna need a lot of stone, but I'm just worried more about carry weight right now so I can get these gates up before I get murdered. Okay. So maybe we want it to, the line to go out a little bit. So if we start right here and don't go directly towards the blue obelisk, but a little bit angled like so. Hmm, make sure to make a little overhang so things can't like sneak around. How's that? Luckily, these are S+, plus, so we can always pick them up again if I put them in the wrong spot. One. And... Two. Oh, yeah. Four is more than enough. In fact, I actually think I want to pick this one up here and replace it. <laughs> uh, pick it up. Okay. Oh, I see something glowing over there. That's never fun. Oh, something there too. Okay, let's hurry this up. Let's do one. No, let's go out a little bit. Oh. We'll overlap them like this. That's two. A little overlap's nice. That's three. Look at that. Almost perfect. Four. Awesome. I'll throw the gates in there. That, so that little gap right there might be a bit of a problem. But I think we can cover that up with something. It's not too bad. Once we get some good dinos in here, I don't think it'll be an issue. Come on. Get in there. Snap, sucker. And the last one. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to take these, put these on. Auto close only. <laughs> too many problems with both auto open and close. I think that's really what it should default on, in my opinion. And this last. See? Ah, come back. All right. So let's see, this is actually not a very big spot. It's actually, now that I'm in here, it's actually really small. What do we get? Uh, we'll take this, and we'll take this, and we'll drop the rest, okay. We don't need that garbage. Okay, so yeah, this is actually, I mean, this is a pretty small area. Okay, can we get on, which terrain on has the saddle? You, and everyone, you guys just sit right there, please. Okay, we're too heavy. Overburdened. Let's just throw everything on this guy. So I did bring a bed and like a box and stuff like that. Um, so we'll go ahead and throw that stuff down in a minute. There we go. I just want to take a little fly to see what this actually looks like now that I have a gate up. Because now that I have a gate up, it's starting to look like it might be too small. No, I mean, eh, we might have to do a little bit of an expansion. But honestly, that's probably fine. Um, may move the gates a little bit to the right. So the overlap is not so bad on the other side. But overall, it's like, whatever. That's a decent, small little area. 
Um, if we get too many big dinos, we'll just build another expansion out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear this stuff out. I'm gonna place some stuff down. I'm gonna get some foundations, get some beds, get the whole thing uh, kind of going and working, and then I will bring you all back. All right, guys, so I was definitely running out of materials, so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and go make a little bit of a metal area. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I wanna do. Uh, because we have a personal grave mod, um, you can actually, when you die, you can recover what was on your body. So what I wanna do is place this here, because it's kind of a far fly to get anywhere. Bam, just a little foundation, put one bed, Beautiful. And now I should be able to harvest these and then just die. Of course, right now I'm not going to because I gotta take my Tranid on home. But and then I can fast travel back over here, uh, which I guess, actually let me harvest some of this. Do I want metal or do I want stone? You know, I'm gonna get some stone. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up right now, then fly home, and then I'll show you guys how this whole thing works. All right, so I am back to base, and here's what we're gonna do. First thing, do I have more beds made? I think I have a couple more. Oh, just one more? That's not quite enough, but that's all right. We'll make it work. We'll make it all happen. Let's throw that right here. we we'll probably make another one. So what we do is we are going to, f come on, fast travel up to our little mountain area. Uh -huh. Travel. And now we're gonna start to do a bit of harvesting. Um, I hope I place this bed in just enough place, this foundation so it doesn't block spawns. Uh, we're gonna find out though. What? Oh, pfft. stupid, I just realized. <laughs> I can't fast travel with tools. I need to buy tools already over here. Um. <laughs> All right, take two. Bam. And I'll load in and I'm like, oh no, what's going on? Where am I? I'm at the volcano, it's great. And I have a little box here that's got some tools. Eventually, I'll want to put another gravestone over here as well, but for now, this will do just for a trip or two. And now I can come over here and I can gather all the stone. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather up the stone and then I'll show you what the next step is, which is the best and magical part. All right, so now I'm super overburdened with stone and I got some metal and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, and let me actually drop some of this other stuff so I can maybe move just a little bit faster because I'm real slow. I'll go ahead and throw my tool back in the box, which eventually I will have to come repair or build a smithy up here or something. And then I just kind of, uh, slowly walk to my death. This is not a very good death spot. Okay, I need to find a better death spot. This is not a good one. Here we go. Just take some damage. No, okay. All right. Let's split this metal. Okay, here we go. Now we're moving. Ooh, this is like Speed Racer. Dun, 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 dun. So obviously I'm gonna need to increase weight some more. I just don't want to knock out before I do this. So then I'll, that'll be a problem. Then I have to wait forever to die. Here we go. And look at this gentle slope downwards. Keep going. Oh yeah, you see all that crazy stuff out from the distance though? Holy crap. Look at all that. Oh, here we go. Come here, Carno, be my friend. Urgh. We got, I'll knock him out. Knock him out. What are you gonna do? Get knocked out, sucker. Oh, he got me. I really thought I was gonna win that one. Okay, so now I can go ahead and respawn at the bed here. Of course, there's other ways to do it too. You can suicide by eating poop and stuff like that. So now I'm like, oh no, I just lost everything I gathered, except I didn't because this mod is amazing and I can just go like this. Okay, first I can get not stuck. And I can go recover corpse. Look at that, all the stuff right there. Drop the extra implant, because who needs two implants when you can have one? And uh, just kind of rinse and repeat and gather up a ton of stuff that way. Um, also, I went ahead and started building here. You're gonna see, I'm kind of going with a weird shape. Going with like a, a double diamond here. It's actually ended up being a square as well. Um, I'm gonna fill this in on this side and on the other side. And you're like, why just a boring square? That's not exciting. And you're right, it's not. But one of these extra squares, one's gonna be a greenhouse and the other one is going to be a uh, hatching center, a little incubation room. So I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be pretty cool. Uh, we'll kind of see how it goes and then we'll find out later. But for now, I need to just go gather a ton more materials. All right, guys, so I've been doing some gathering and I've been doing some building and check out what we got so far. I think it's coming out kind of neat. 
So we just got a little bit of oh, that snail's been here this whole time. That crazy rainbow snail. So I kind of like the little like you know diamondy type design. I like it. I think it's neat. It's a little different than what I've done before. Even though I know it's probably gonna end up being a square in the end anyways. Once I add a garden on one side and a uh, what you call it on the other hatching room on the other side. But you know what? For now, whatever. It's cool. I'm happy with it. I think it's neat. But we got a little bit of walls up. We don't. I kind of tired of gathering materials for now. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Um, but I did get, you know, one layer of wall up, so that way, well, missed. So that way we can, uh, start putting stuff in here and whatnot. So I think in here is gonna be the crafting room, and in here is, I don't know, storage? <laughs> so I have the crafting stations and stuff that we already made, so we can go ahead and place that stuff down. Let's see. Yep, put it all in the, can I just do this? That's way faster. Okay. Um, so let's see, let's start back here. Let's do the, uh, I don't know. Let's just throw on some smithies. Oh, wait, where's my other smithy? Ah, I forgot the regular smithy. Probably a bunch of stuff in it, isn't there? Take all. And pick up smithy. And throw the extra stuff in here. Perfect. Okay. There we go. So I have only got a few crafting stations right now, but it's enough to get started. So we're going to go ahead and throw down man, in front of these little windows. Make a little nice, uh, one of these guys. Oh, isn't that nice? And this stuff's probably in all, all, in all realism is gonna move at some point anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There's a nice little good starting point. We can line some benches up right there. And then uh, I'll put this sucker over here next to it just for now. Keep nice and close. Just put everything right next to each other because it doesn't really matter. I love S plus and everything is pick upable. There we go. So I think eventually I'm gonna have the storage maybe not right next to it once I get more crafting stations, but for now, I think it just completely makes sense. Just kind of throw it right here. Just a couple boxes so I can start moving everything in. Bam, check it out. All right. So there we go. We've got a start of our base in our new spot. We've got Behemoth Gates. We've got some stuff built. We still have an army of useless Terras and you know you can't beat that. We're starting to move inside. We got a little bit of a metal rock gathering area made. Overall, I think today was a pretty good day. So, for today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. My hair's getting long. i got to make some scissors, check out the new hairstyles. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Of course, feel free to subscribe and ring the notification bell right next to it. We get all the notifications. I would appreciate it. Um, also, you check me out on all your social medias, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, even your Google+, Plus, even though nobody ever uses it. And check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash ObadiahX. But like I said... For today, I guess. Oh, there's also a link to a tip jar down with Streamlabs if you are interested in that uh, in the description below. But anyways, guys, like I said, for today is going to be it. I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.